Ski Planet is presented to you by Montaigne de Jura, the official Nordic destination in France. Welcome guys for a new episode of Ski Planet by World of Fate. I'm back in Scandinavia and more precisely in Finland. Lahti is the front door of the Pianin National Park located two hours north from Helsinki and we will discover what's hiding around the Finlandia Hito. Between Heart of Living, Encounters, Sport and Nature, the program will be tempting, I promise. In 2021, Lahti will be the European green capital. To learn more about it, I met Mila. So Mila, uh -huh. this is my first day here in, uh, in Finland, in Lahti. Well, welcome. Thank you. <laughs> um, as soon as I, ar I arrived here, I saw all this nature around yeah. the city. And I was wondering if it's one of the reasons that Lahti will be the mm -hmm. green capital uh, in 2021. The reason why we actually won the title of the European Green Capital for 2021 is the very sort of bold decisions and also very ambitious decisions that we have done about our city development to be sustainable over the past decades already. And in the beginning of 90s we decided that the sort of the lake that we had ourselves polluted and that's sort of the first things that we started in the beginning of 90s, very, very, very ambitiously. And at the same time also, we decided that we're going to start uh, recycling our waste. So those are just two sort of big things that we have done. But also there's very many other things as well that we have done in the city to uh, to be able to get this award. You're a city of actions and sports yeah. even, yeah. especially. Uh, and I was wondering how you involved those events in this project and how people um, who come to see those events can be sensitive, mm -hmm. you know, by yes. this initiative. Uh, well, Lahti is very known for the, for the like, big sports events that we have been organizing for decades as well almost 100 years soon and uh, um, and which is the South Pacific World Cup that we do every year. Finlandia Hito is very important to us and very many other sports events as well and in the in the winter time of course but also in the summer time. We have already noticed that um, sort of sustainable winter sports, organizing sustainable winter sports events is something that we have already been taking steps before and of course with this European Green Capital the focus is also going to be more on those in the future. And this is something that also we share with other cities around the world. So you use sports yes. as ambassadors? Yes, especially as ambassadors. You are uh -huh. so very right. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> It was impossible to come here in Lahti without meeting Juha, the World Lopet president. And I hope you guys will not be dizzy. So Juha, as you said, we are on the top of the hill. Oh, we are top on the big hill, big jumping hill now in Lahti. Why this place is so important here in Lahti? Oh, it's because the, uh, it's original, the only one in Finland. Why cross-country skiing and ski jumping is so important here? And why the city and the ski club want to promote uh, ski with championship, with heavens and with all this activity around sports? Oh, we have so long traditions. Uh, uh, Lahti Ski Club, uh, where I belong to, and which is also arranging uh, Lahti Ski Games uh, for ski jumping, uh, Nordic Combine and cross country every year, and also Finlandia Hito. You told me that you work with the ski club, for the ski club. Why it's important to involve children and to put them in the sport game, you know? Oh, but it's, uh, we are in Lahti. Lahti Ski Club is one part of this city. It's one part of the city. My father was uh, was in uh, was working for Lahti Ski Club 
I have been working for Lahti Ski Club uh, and still I'm working until I die. It's a, it's <laughs> a habit, it's, it's a must, must thing in Lahti. So thank you for this uh, really good moment and I am so lucky to be here for Finlandia and Hito. Thank you. Finland is well known for her cultural attachment to Nordic sports. I made a detour to the ski museum and you will understand that their history is full of success. Thank you for welcoming me here. Um, can you explain me where are we? We are now in the ski museum in Lahti, in Lahti Sports Center. What is the history of this place? There have been, uh, from 1923, Lahti ski games, they have started then. And also those world championships, uh, 1926, 1938, 1958, uh, 1979, okay. 2001, and 2017. And also Finlandia Ski Marathon, they have started in 1974. So it's important place in many ways for Finnish people as a center of skiing. Can you show me some things that we can see when we visit this museum? First you, you can see very long and narrow skis uh, in Finland when they started to have skiing competitions in the end of uh, 19th century. They were very long and made of birch and uh, they have flat country skiing uh -huh. competitions on the ice and on the fields. And, uh, and here we can see uh, some photos how they started. <laughs> And, and, and this uh, photo from 1926. And here you can see the same character also. Oh, yes, as, 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 uh, uh, I will try to make some activities. <laughs> so yes. Thank you very much for, for the visit. <laughs> Pet is a big family and like in all episodes I propose you to discover a new ski destination. Let's go to the South Hemisphere, let's go to Australia. Oh look today is just absolutely unreal, it's one of the best days we can remember and to make it really really good the technical delegates just skied Sun Valley and he tells me that the course is as good as he's ever seen in Australia. And it's a real tribute to the volunteers and the hard working people in the Mount Beauty and Falls Creek and the general cross country skiing community all together work together to make this uh, the showpiece of not only Australian but Southern Hemisphere cross country skiing. I don't know, I think, uh, yeah, it was pretty close. Just came down to who wanted it more, so. Yeah. Uh, that was the first time in three times I was participating. I was always second. But yeah, this year it was just amazing, good training, and uh, it's even special because I'm now an Australian. And winning an Australian home race is just amazing. So, yeah, I'm really happy. It's quickly getting dark here in Finland, and I had the chance to be the guest of a special ceremony, a good time to meet some locals near a campfire.
Guys, if I tell you relax, hot and cold, and well-being, what do you think? Follow me for a typical Finnish tradition, it's a good moment guaranteed. In, in Finland there is like a, a more saunas than people. So there is a sauna, sauna nearly every apartment in Finland. And especially uh, all of these summer cottages have sauna. And, and um, it, it's a very common thing. We, we, we Finns like, like to go to sauna. I don't know if, it, if it's actually a Finnish creation, okay. but, but, but we, we like to think so. Because, well, you can find saunas all, all around the world, but in Sweden, uh, saunas are, are not that hot. And they have towels around them and they sit there and they don't throw water on the stove. And then uh, in Germany, uh, they have lots of saunas. Uh, but that's kind of different, and Turkey has their own own impression of sa saunas. But Finnish sauna is quite like, well, it's very simple. Uh, you you throw water on the stove, and it, it needs to be hot. Some someone likes it to be like over 100 degrees Celsius, or or something. I like it that it should be like 70 or 80. Then it's then it's good and moist. No, 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 it's like glass, glass, glass. Oh. That's what's brave. It's cold. As you know, all how travels are headed by a World Opet race, it's time to ski, so let's go to the Finlandia Hito. It's the end of this Finnish adventure. I hope you enjoy. See you soon for our next episode. Bye. Ski Planet was presented to you by Montaigne de Jura, the official Nordic destination in France.